uh, I want to thank Peter for uh, making us sound fantastic. And uh, uh, the, the, the person that I want to thank most is my daughter Katrina, who is here tonight sitting up there. Okay, uh, so when we went to record this record, uh, we, we actually went in to record a completely different record and accidentally walked out with this one. Uh, <laughs> we have them both, but you know, the story's a little longer than that, but I've been going on for too long. Patrick's having a nice laugh over there, Bob. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, the next song is gonna be called, uh, the next uh, record is gonna be called Chasing, and it's gonna finish up the, uh, uh, trilogy. I started with my first two records, and then I can go ahead and die. And, uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is a song about taking a drive with the girl that you know s pretty well. <laughs>
uh, thank you, I forgot to do two other ones, which was uh, my friend Nick Jones, who, uh, who that uh, incident at White Hen song wouldn't have wouldn't have happened without him. And, uh, and uh, there's a fellow who's not here tonight who was very uh, instrumental in getting this this record finished. And uh, his name is Justin Dennis, and uh, he's a he's just an amazing person. I just thought I'd say that. Uh, so we've got two more songs for you, and uh, we're going to play them one after another. It's a, it's a, a little song and a big song, and um, the first one is called Lawrence and MacArthur, and it is uh, about the intersection where I grew up. Now, these two songs uh, came originally from a, a show that I did with John Atwood called Black and Whites, and uh, they came, you know, they were part of a 12-song uh, suite of things, and uh, <laughs> so I'm going to play my run after another. <laughs> Lawrence and MacArthur is where uh, I grew up. It's also where John grew up, and we never knew each other growing up. But uh, we lived right across the street, and uh, it was an intersection where there were car wrecks. Uh, you know, in the summertime especially, just one after another. And I used to go out and uh, sit on my front steps and and videotape the wrecks. And uh, you know, there's a great. There's, there was a great one where I, you know, I actually helped the people out of the car, but because I was there by myself, you know, there's no footage of it. But, uh, anyway, none of that's, it's true, but anyway, none of that's in the song, but it's, uh, but it's also, it also is in there. And, um, and so is John, and, and, uh, and so is Springfield, and, and uh, you, know, uh, you know, the second song is called The Fog Will Overtake the Field, and it's about those, uh, it's about those little uh, circles of concrete in the middle of a parking lot where they, they plant some grass and they put a little tree there to make you feel hmm. a little less alone. And, uh, uh, you know, I can look at those things for fucking hours just trying to figure out, figure them out. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Thank you so much for, uh, for selling out both of these goddamn shows. I can't tell you how much I uh, and you know what? I'm sorry I've been talking too much, but I have to uh, I have to introduce you to my band. Yeah. Uh, yeah? Uh, over here on the tuba and the euphonium is Mike Davis. On the saw, the melodica, it's Chris Hefner. On the violin, Ronnie Cooler. Stream bass and synth, Mr. Jim Cooper. Yeah. On the electric guitar, Joshua Fitzgerald Glosek. Yeah. On the bass, Paul Parts. Yeah. And on the drums, Jason Toff.
Большой 